Okay, so we got another release and an announcement. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and that's right, I am back with the news. Okay, guys, so yeah, man, it looks like it. The storm is here. Really looks like the storm is here. We got three, count them, three releases this week. And uh, let's talk about this third one right here. Let's go right to it. And boom, that's right. We got Venomized. Well, I was gonna say Venomized group. Oh my God, Armored Rise. Deadpool, yes, we got Armored Deadpool here, Armored Rise Deadpool, and yes, this thing looks good. It really looks good. Now, I'll be quite honest. This is one that I'm not too excited for, to be honest with you. I I'm not. I'm really, I I'm, this is just not for me. But for the people that it is for, I know you guys are going to love it, and I can appreciate it from afar. Second Brother is going to be getting this one, so I'm definitely going to be, you know, I can't wait. For him to get it and you know i pose all his figures so i can't wait to get my hands on it and actually pose it and review it and all that other good stuff because it does look cool like i said it's not for me but it does look cool let's check it out man look at all the armored pieces right here this thing looks phenomenal it looks damn good i really like it like how like all these the compartments open up giving you that iron man feel giving you that big mech feel that you got going on right there all done with a Deadpool colorization. Just looks great. I mean, this Deadpool is scary enough. I mean, he, I mean, he's funny and he, you know, he's quippy and all that, but he, you know, he kicks some serious ass. So he really doesn't even need a mech suit, but him with a mech suit is just, it's a damn party. Um, looking at this picture right here, you have that big mechani mechanized weapon, shotgun blaster he got right there. Looks awesome, looks great. I love the dual Cantanas. Like I said, it looks like a cross between a mech, a Gundam, and Deadpool. I mean, come on. You gotta love it, right? You gotta love it. <clears throat> so we got um another shot of him right here. You got the uh, um the arc reactor in his chest and everything, just like an Iron Man. The eyes light up. It's an excellent piece. Got the repulsor blast right there as well. Got that repulsor hand up. Man, this thing looks good. This really looks good, guys. Cross between Iron Man and a mech and a Gundam. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, right? <laughs> this thing looks great. Um, let's continue to look at them. These looks good right here. The articulation looks good. I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with any Iron Man or how the Iron Man figures, how the joints contort and how you're able to uh, flex them and everything, I'm sh pretty sure you get the same thing with this one. Um, we've seen another version of this. We've seen the armorized uh, Punisher um, a couple years back. And I believe the articulation is pretty much the same as this one. Well, this one will be the same type of articulation. Love that little red light they have up under here. That's pretty cool. Looks good. Looks good, man. I mean, yeah, this guy looks great. I mean, it's not much more I can say about it, but I think he looks cool. Um, as I said, it's not for me, but for all you guys that are waiting on it, I know Anthony Cisco Mafia, he was stoked about this as well. So um, it's gonna be a lot of you guys out there that's gonna be happy with this. Gonna definitely be happy with this release. Um, looks at, now this right here, <laughs> this to me right here makes it even more appealing to do this. Now, I, I almost want to get it just so I can do this because that's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect right there. Love how they did that. It's a good figure, man. It's definitely a good figure. Not for everybody. And I know I've said that a dozen times in this video, but for the people it is for, it's going to be awesome. Um, let's go to the announcement that was made last night. Uh, they are going in on this damn line, and it is crazy. Yes, this guy right here, we are getting Gore the God Butcherer, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting this. Wow. And I and, and you want to know something? I didn't see this coming. I thought they were done with the uh, Love and Thunder line. And I know a lot of you did not like Love and Thunder. People thought it was silly. They thought they... 
Tonka Waitiki went too far with it. Me personally, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Me and my friends went to go see it. We enjoyed it. We really liked it. Uh, and I still kind of enjoy it. Do I think some of the tones are completely mismatched? Absolutely. Do I think it could have been better? Absolutely. Was it better than Thor Ragnarok? Hell no. Um, but for what it was, I'm sorry, I still liked it. Um, and they're going in on this line, man. Just look and looking at this, and like I said, I did not see this coming. I did not see Gore coming, but I should have because honestly, look think about all the Batman, Christian Bell. They have Christian Bell's likeness pretty much down to a T. So of course they would make a gore figure, right? It makes complete sense. Now, before we continue with the rest of this figure, we gotta talk about the elephant in the room these ugly ass joints right here oh my god and it's right there right in center right in front and it doesn't look good it it doesn't look good at all i, I i'm like why 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 guys why 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 um but yeah they got them i mean you know i guess for a figure like this because it is a villain and you know they got a lot of villains kind of tend to sit around they didn't want to spend you know too much tooling and too much innovation on the body so they gave us a standard body but i'm fine with it if they're going to give us this because they knew a third party would probably just go in and swoop in and take that money why not do it when they do christian bell's likeness the best you get gore so i think that's their whole reasoning for doing this and they're going in on this line um i just gonna have the rest of the figure i think it looks dope i think he looks badass i really think he looks badass especially right here um, looking at the uh, accessories, looking at that sword, the stroud. I mean, yeah, it, he looks awesome. He looks pretty awesome. Like this, like this right here, definitely makes me want to get it. But once again, them damn unsightly joints. Ugh. I just wish they could. I don't know. I know if they did seamless arms, there'll be a problem with that. But I do think this should be a seamless body. I do. I, I feel that they should have went seamless with the with this, at least with the arms. Um just to you know give it a little bit of pop because you're not really getting much you're getting a head sculpt you're getting the one six true body and you're getting the shroud around it you know what i'm saying it's not really that much um all the money went into the head sculpt as you know as it should but they definitely could have gave us some type of seamless joints on the arms right there badass he looks bad look at those ugly the gruesome teeth the eyes the painting on this man they got this down they did it on this one guys they really did it right there head sculpt looks amazing and wow i didn't realize he has the pearls he has the pearl i call it pearls but they call it separate eyeball rolling system i'm from the old school so i like to call it the pearl system um but yeah it has separate rolling eyeballs like i said all the money went in this head sculpt apparently you get alternate looks very dope very dope <laughs> you see him there with stormbreaker it's a cool part in the film looks good man he looks good i really think this thing looks great i do the only thing like especially look at that look at that right there that shot right there and you know this shot right here is really good because once again it hides those unsightly joints uh man it it looks good it looks good guys it really does look good once again we see this pose with the joints you're like ah i hate it but you know some of these figures are gonna have it you know it just that's just what it is it's just the nature of the beach nature of the beast but no it isn't a deal breaker for me very cool pose <laughs> very cool very cool i love how that looks love how that looks <sighs> come on love how this looks this is i mean this is shaping up to be a real good line the thor 11 thunder one i still don't like yeah uh, i still don't like the uh the thor that they gave us so far with all the multi he looks like a big looks like a big hasbro he looks like a big you know hasbro figure I, i'm i'm not feeling that um i still think the uh mighty thor uh kate bishop's that's Kate Bishop, not Kate Bishop. Uh, Y'all know who I'm talking about. Jane Foster, Mighty Thor, sorry. Um, I still think, I like her figure. I still think it needs a little bit of work, but um, for what it is, I like it. And like I said, this is shaping up to be a real good line um, with those two. And of course, of course, with Valkyrie as well. So we got four figures so far from this line. 
think it looks good. I think they're doing a good job with it so far. Um, I would like to see more. I want to see Thor. I want to see him with the with the fur, and I want to see that from the road one Thor. I want to see that one. Like I said, this this thing, the sword looks great. That head sculpt is where the money went, obviously. Here's everything that comes with it. You see him right here. See him with the sword. I don't know why they're showing us the sword twice. They show the necklace. He has Stormbreaker. He has the separate eyebrow rolling system, a pile of hands, and of course, the regular crotch grabber base. It looks awesome. I think it looks good for what it is, guys. I, I'm 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 all in. I'm all in on this one. It is. I wish they do. I wish they would, you know, change this to seamless arms, but it doesn't look like they will. But um, yeah. That's um that's you know that's been it. So we got a we got a big week. I mean, three releases this week. The week started off great with Bo Katan. Then we uh then we got um we got uh Black Widow in the snowsuit, and then we got uh Armored Rise Deadpool. So three releases this week. Who knows what's gonna be next week? Could we possibly see Ahsoka? I would love to see Mando Ahsoka. Um, will we get Ask Wolves? We is rumored to has it that Ask Wolves is right around the corner. People are getting notifications from Sideshow. I'm even hearing that some people got notifications for there. I say it, Loki. So uh, you know, fool me once <laughs> with that damn in-game Loki. But who knows? We may just get it next week. So we'll see. You know, we'll definitely see. But guys, remember. Like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And we are out.